When people hear the word downsizing, they often associate it with older people, retirees, empty nesters, or people headed into assisted living or nursing homes. While those are certainly people who are likely to consider downsizing, they're not the only ones. Hi, I'm Lisa Ortiz with Robin Lance Realty. More and more people are seeking less house to call a home. Housing has in some cases become more and more costly. The upkeep, maintenance, and bills tend to be more costly with bigger homes. But it's not just something that people do for the cost benefits. People are doing it because it's becoming cool and desirable to do. Just look at the tiny house movement. Although it's an extreme example, most people can't and won't fit themselves into such a tiny space. I know I would need to get rid of everything and everyone that lives with me. <laughs> What's so appealing about this to so many people? Freedom, less to worry about, less on their minds, less cost, lower property taxes, more liquidity and money to do the things they love or want to do. The point is this, while many people look at downsizing as something sad or negative, it doesn't have to be. Certainly you have some emotions and memories attached to your house, but don't overlook the life, lifestyle, and memories you'll be able to create in your next home. So if you're on the fence about downsizing, spend some time considering the possibilities in your future. Think through whether you need the amount of house you currently own. Consider how much of your house you currently use versus how much you don't. And finally, spend some time truly thinking about what you want and need in your next home. I'm Lisa Ortiz, the Rockin' Realtor with Robin Lance Realty. What's your less is more?